In Beaver County, cases have been increasing, but not as quickly. The majority of the 658 confirmed cases are patients or employees at the Brighton Rehab and Wellness Center. At least 80 people at the center there have also died, including a housekeeper. That woman's family has now filed a wrongful death lawsuit. Shelby Cassessi is live in Beaver County right now with the latest developments on this story. Shelby. Kim Elizabeth Wiles is being remembered as a hero mom who was dedicated to her job here at the Brighton Rehabilitation and Wellness Center for many years. But now her family believes the nursing home is responsible for her death. It's the first coronavirus related wrongful death lawsuit against Brighton Rehabilitation and Wellness Center. Elizabeth Wiles was killed as a result of simply doing her job. 69 year old Elizabeth Wiles was a longtime housekeeper at the facility who died in May from COVID 19. Her family's attorney, David Quas, claims Wiles, who was a cancer survivor, began to express concern to her supervisor as the virus began to overwhelm the facility. She was being told that she was overreacting. She had to come to work. Everything was fine. Get in here and do your job. The lawsuit filed Wednesday against Brighton and 10 other defendants points to a history of State Department of Health citations from 2014 to 2019, mostly having to do with sanitation, insufficient staff, and infection control within the facility. That speaks to an attitude and a temperament of ownership and management that says this is something that's not important to us. The lawsuit alleges those standards continued into the pandemic with a lack of training and PPE for employees, along with a lack of transparency. Wiles' family ultimately believes this is why she was exposed to the virus and what led to her death. The family's concern is very much on trying to help protect the families of other residents and other workers at Brighton. In a statement tonight, the facility says, quote, while we cannot comment on pending litigation, we mourn those who have passed away from this virus. Now, a recent state inspection of the facility found few masks for employees, little social distancing, and no soap or paper towels in some of the bathrooms. Reporting live in Beaver County, Shelby Cassassi, KDK News.